Hello guys, it's Fleet here, and I'm back with another video. As you can see by the title today, we're doing another Judging Your Discord Servers video. Now, if you want your server to be successful, you might want to stick around to the end of this video, as the information is likely going to be useful for you, as I see multiple people making similar mistakes, but you can get some ideas from other servers and implement them in your own way. So for today's video, I've chosen four servers to judge for the video, and if you want a chance of being in one of these videos, make sure to like this video and join my server which is in the description below. Now, let's get into the first server. Alright, so the first server we're going to look at is Stick Boy's Thing. Well, Stick Boy's Snowy Thing in this case. Straight away, I can see he watches my videos, as he's used the tips from the previous judging video into his own server, which is just great to see. He's even given the server a Christmas theme, which is a nice touch and also separated the emojis from the channel name with a symbol, which makes the server look a lot cleaner. He has an announcements channel, unnecessary channels, and has also laid out the order of categories nicely. You have put bots lower than members, which makes the most important people in the server, the members, seem important. I would suggest removing either the all members counter or the members counter as people get confused which the count is actually accurate and which one to actually use and it's not really necessary if you have a bot count as well. You've made the server seem really colourful with all the roles but there's a lack of emojis so maybe add some more emojis into the server as who doesn't love emojis? If you really want to make the server colourful add some channel headers as I see you haven't got any for the rules section or the role info. There are lots of free websites available online such as Canva and you can easily make some colourful headers to put above some of your channels. You also have no theme mentioned in any of the channels, which I feel is really important, so people actually know what the server is about. You could maybe make a server info channel, and maybe add it within the rules section. You might also want to work on a, a solid welcome message. As I see, there's lots of different dashes and symbols and stuff, and I can't clearly read it. Like, if I look at that from a distance, I can't read the text. It's a nice idea, but I think it could be better. Overall, I think I would give this server a solid 3 out of 5. It's a good server, and I would consider joining it, but maybe change a couple of things which I mentioned, and you should be good. Alright, so moving on to the second server, we have Gold Petals. So as soon as I join the server invite, I get located to a channel, which I can't even read, so make sure to maybe change the invite so that when you create it, it's to a channel that people can see. Maybe the verified channel. So right here, you could maybe make some channel headers. Or maybe add the server icon to give the server some colour. So when I verify, I've noticed they've copied my channel symbols. I hate it when I see other servers copying each other. Because you could have easily found a different symbol, or even moved the symbol and the emoji to the right side of the channel text. People don't want to see a server copy, they want something unique. You have put the bots below the members, which is good, and you have sectioned the channel categories nicely. As I'm scrolling through some of the channels, there are lots of inactive or unused channels, such as this one, which hasn't been used for 20 days. Maybe close off some of these channels so that people can focus on being active in only a couple of channels, and if your server starts to grow a little more, then start to add the channels in then. You have also got two member counts, so remove one of them, so people don't get confused. And again, there's no server theme. Make sure to add one in somewhere, so people actually have an idea of what the server's about. Make sure to add one in somewhere, as people will have no idea what the server is for, and they'll likely just leave. You might also want to remove some of these voice channels, and move them all into one category. There isn't a need for different categories, and it just makes the channels seem really far down, so if you actually want people to use these channels, you might want to move the channels up one category. Overall, it's a good server, but you could do with working on it some more. I'll give this a 2 out of 5. Now the next server we're going to look at is DJ Hub. Straight away, I noticed something, which is the logo. You can't make out what the text says, with the blue and white background, from a distance. You might want to make the text bolder or use some different colours as it's important people can see which server it is so they can actually use it. 
So when I look at the server, I can see a lot of emojis and channels in the server, and this really hurts my eyes. It's okay to add some emojis to like channels and roles, but there just seems to be a lot going on, and I can't concentrate on anything when looking at the server. You have emojis in the roles, categories, and even two in some of the channels, which is quite a lot. Instead of using the blue emoji thingy, you could maybe use a symbol instead, so you can reduce the amount of emojis that you're using. It's a nice idea, but there's just way too many emojis. I can see the server also has a custom bot, which is quite cool, and you can add so many custom features to it, so nice job. As I'm scrolling through some of these channels though, there's a lot of voice channels. I mean here you can see, there's five different music rooms. I don't think there's a need for five music channels with only 107 members. They just won't be used. You could do with switching the categories and the channels around, and maybe reducing the number of channels between each of the categories. You only want around four to six channels per category, so that makes things more evenly spread out, and it's a lot easier to navigate through. Also, remove those channels as, remember, you can slowly add them into the server as it grows. So overall, I'm going to give this server a 2 out of 5. It's not a bad server, but there could be a lot of things changed and improved to make it a lot better. The final server we're going to look at is Cloud HQ. Now you can see, they have a clear logo. It might not have anything to do with clouds, but it's clear, so maybe update the logo a little more. They have used the same symbols as my server for the channels, which is slightly annoying but I notice every channel has a different emoji. I feel for the server being cloud related, you could easily change some of these emojis in the channels, as the only thing which really adds to the cloud theme is the occasional cloud on only some of the roles, as well as the level roles, as you can see, newborn cloud and epic cloud. There is no server information channel, so there's no way of knowing what the server is actually about. To be honest, the server looks like any random server that you can join. It just doesn't seem very unique. You might want to rebrand the server a little, and maybe add some ideas, link into the cloud theme, as it's a good server idea, but I feel you need to boost the actual server ideas. So make some mind maps, or just write down any ideas that come to mind, and it will really help with your creative thinking. However, you have correctly given certain channels the announcements channel, and also sectioned the categories nicely, with around 6 channels at maximum. You've also got some nice channel headers, as you can see here, as well as messages embedded, which looks really nice. So overall, I think you've got a mix of ideas, and I think if you come up with some things which you might want to add and change in the server, it will really help, as it's got a lot of potential. I'm going to give this server a 3 out of 5. That's all for today's video, I hope you guys enjoyed, and that you've learnt something which you might be able to add or change in your server too. If you want to see another video like this, make sure to smash that like button and I'll make another video if this video reaches 60 likes. So make sure to share it to all your friends. So for this video we have two shout outs, one going to Night Eagle, who streams quite frequently, so be sure to go and check them out and drop them a sub. The second shout out goes to Snickerdoodle Gamer and they stream frequently also, so maybe drop them a sub as well. We are also super close to 200 subscribers, so if you haven't already subscribed, make sure to do so. Have a good rest of your day or night, depending when you're watching this video, and I'll see you guys later.